hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is sonia so welcome to my channel today's video i'm going to share near hair mover ultimate microwave and rinseable roll-on bags and this is perfect for legs body and bikini and in this video i'm going to share with you how you can use this bag step by step and going to share with you so many tips and tricks how i like to use this bag in the end i will share how to wash and reuse these reusable strips If you like to see their milk and honey bags that is a jalo packaging how to use that wax i made a special video on that you can click on a top to watch that video or you can check my description box down below today i'm going to use a pink packaging this is a ultimate bags and going to open the box let's see what we get inside and i got this from shopper drug mart around 18 dollar and this is a kit this roll on bags comes with the two rinseable applicator one for bikini and underarms and one for legs and body and it comes with the, some strips so these are reusable strips in and i will show you how to wash and reuse this and this is a booklet before you use it always read all the instructions don't discard the plastic packaging until you finish your roll on bags and shortly i will share with you why you have to keep that this roll on bags comes with the two applicator one is small and one is bigger small is perfect for bikini and underarms and the bigger one is perfect for legs arms or body microwave or rinseable roll on bags you can use without any mess and now i'm going to open and now i'm going to tell you how you can use this if you are a beginner first you can open the top remove the applicator and remove the lock plastic on a top next attach the applicator which one you like to use i'm going to use the bigger one because i'm going to use on our legs use the applicator and snap back in correctly and you can hear the noise and these applicator is rinseable you can use a soap and water to clean now is ready to use and now i'm going to tell you how you can use this now discard a plastic tray use it to support the roll-on applicator during hair remover and i will share with you shortly and these all things comes with it now i'm going to start a waxing and i'm going to share with you all the tips and tricks i like to use place roll-on wax straight in the microwave with the applicator turned up and if your microwave is 900 watt to 1100 watt then you can start with the 15 second for full bottle and 10 second for half bottle for handling the roll on bags make it sure it is not too hot you should be able to handle with the wear hand next knead the bags gently to distribute the temperature of the bags do not shake if you will see your bags is liquid or contain bubbles these are sign of overheating simply lay it flat and let it cool down for at least 15 minutes right after microwave always test a bag's temperature on the strip or on a patch test so this is in a starting you can see this is not warm enough And I'm going to try small patch and this is still sticky and now I'm going to warm up another five second in a microwave so each time five second right after microwave knead it again gently do not shake and check the temperature once again in a small patch this is my second try and my bag is not ready yet and i'm going to put it in a microwave for another five seconds so make sure every time whenever you warm up give a five second only right after microwave knead it again now my bag is nice and liquid and ready to use this plastic tray and set the bottle on the holder applicator side down between each application and it allow the bags to the floor to the roller so each and every application you can use this 
my bags is ready to use spread the bags from root to the hair growth after each use set the bottle on the holder applicator side down and I'm going to use a strip it comes with it and now you can press nicely then you can pull on a opposite traction and you can see the result now my bags is ready to use and this is nice and liquid and easy to apply and if your bags is not sufficiently liquid uh, for easy application heat it again for five seconds not more than five seconds so each time uh, warm up five seconds so need it then you can use a patch test then you can try on your body so here is the result keep the right temperature of your bags if you feel your bags is sticky you can take another five second in a microwave knead it and uh, use it and after each application set the bottle on the holder application side down allow the bags to flow to the roller then it easy to use for next time next i'm going to use a back strip again and uh, you can press it and pull on the opposite traction you can work in a small patches or you can work in a long patches roll on bags is easy to use without any mess and when your bags temperature is right to use you can work in a long patches or small patches it works great with the both way and now i'm working in a long patches so this way you will save your time and you can use a strip and press it down and pull on a opposite direction and so far i really love the result of this bags After waxing you can use a after waxing spray soap or water to clean and if you see any redness so it is normal take a time for 10 to 15 minutes it will go away by itself. Next I'm going to try on a small growth let's see how it work and I apply the wax and next I'm going to use a waxing strip first press then you can pull on a opposite traction. You can see the result guys this is a small growth and it works amazingly. Right after waxing I like to use a waxing spray and if you don't have waxing spray you can use a simply any type of oil like olive oil, baby oil or coconut oil. Then you can clean your body with the oil then after you can use a soap and water to clean your uh, body. This wax is little sticky so make sure you can use a oil based uh, um, waxing spray after you done with the wax and so far the result is amazing and I try on a, a small growth and it works amazingly. And next I'm going to share with you how you can wash these strips. This is my first time I'm using this bags. I use their uh, Jello honey bags but I never use this and now I'm going to wash the strips. First I'm going to use a soap then I'm going to use a hot water. So now let's see how it works and uh, I'm going to share with you each and everything. I use a soap and hot water next I'm going to put all the strips in the water and dip it for at least 15 minutes after 15 minutes you can see here and uh, I didn't see any results so far and now I'm going to rub so let's see if it comes out so they said these are reusable strips you can wash it and reuse it and I'm still working on it but so far it is so sticky and uh, let's see I'm still working on it it is hard to clean and so far after five minutes you can see and still i'm not happy with it and going to put in another warm and soap water 
soak these strips for another five minutes and uh, after five minutes i try it again and after five minutes i try it again but this bags is really sticky and i didn't clean properly and uh, i used their jello bags that uh, wax is really good and that is a washable wax as well and i try their uh, strips and i clean easily with the jello wax but not with this i don't know this wax is really sticky and you can use a uh, oil whenever you use on your body to remove the excess so far i really love this wax and the wax result is amazing guys you can use this wax without any mess and this is perfect for body bikini or legs and uh, it comes with the two applicator you can use a small applicator or the big applicator and uh, these are rinseable bags and uh, i already share with you this is really sticky than the jello uh, bags you can use a uh, oil uh, to remove the excess from your body or you can use uh, after waxing spray if you have some tips like to share with you use this plastic and between application set the bottle on the holder applicator side down so applicator side down to allow the bags to the flow to the roller so do this each and every time whenever you apply your bags next if you have a microwave 900 watt to 1100 watt then you can give a 15 second for full bottle and 10 second for half bottle and each time you can warm up for only five seconds after you warm up you can knead it gently do not shake after each five seconds you can knead it and do the patch test before you use on your body so far this wax is amazing guys so this is my second uh, uh, kind of ultimate wax i use their jello bags that wax is really amazing and this is little sticky but uh, works amazingly and i try on a small growth and on a bigger growth and and both results was great guys you can use in a small patches or in a long patches and uh, so far i really love this bags and uh, this bags little sticky then jello one and use the oil waste uh, um waxing spray after waxing spray to remove this wax after you can wash with the soap and water and if you feel any redness it will go away after 10 15 seconds it is normal and uh, so far i really love this wax and if you'd like to try you can try and try their jello wax if you like to see that video uh, you can check my description box down below how to use that wax and i made a special videos on a uh, this wax this wax also from shopper drug mart and this is a cold wax you can check this video as well all the video links in my description box down below and this is a hard wax this wax i got from uh, amazon and if you like to see this video this video link in my description box down below hope you like today's video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you're watching me from long time didn't subscribe yet please subscribe to my channel like this video and share this video and i will see you in another coming video until then take care guys and bye